what is going on YouTube so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today is you know obviously if you guys know we are getting rid of the ACOC site on you know Bandit and Jaeger you can see a little bit of gameplay here now my biggest question is that since they're getting rid of the ACOG are you guys not going to use Bandit or Jaeger anymore? Is it going to change the way the game flows? Or are you going to, you know, maybe choose a one speed that has an ACOG so you can spawn peak? Or, you know, you're going to run them and still go play like normal? And we don't know until we get the full Blood Orchid out there. But I definitely think it's going to change a little bit of how people, you know, approach everything. You know, I definitely feel like that Ben and Yeager will be a good, still good roamers, but I think people will be more hesitant about leaving. Um, you know, Bandit has a very good, you know, ability to stop reinforcements. But we also, on the flip side, that IQ and Thatcher will be a huge part with the new operators that are coming out to see their, you know, their, to see their uh, special. And unfortunately, this is going to be probably the last little bit of gameplay that I'm able to get, you know, using their ACOG site. Now, I really loved using the ACOG site. You know, you'll see in some of these clips, you know, you can hold down long, long, long lines of sight with these roamers, which that's going to be taken away now. You know, I think they'll play a little bit more cautious when they're roaming. Um, you know, in spawn pick, I think, you know, it's... I wouldn't say it's going to be eliminated, because with the new lighting changes in Blood Orchid, then... It may not be, you know, people are still probably gonna going to. Uh, so we'll definitely have to see what comes out, and then you know, in your future with the updates. And I do feel like that, you know, Jaeger is gonna still be a crucial part of defending because, you know, with the new oper operator Ying, and you got Fuse. I mean, those ADS is gonna be very, very important, you know, to protecting the objective and people that are holding down as anchors. Um, you know, honestly, I just feel like Jaeger may should even have maybe one or two more ADSs. I mean, because you got to stop Fuse. Um, you got to stop, you know, Ying's ability when she throws the flashes in there. Other grenades, other flashes. So, I mean, the ADSs are going to go away real quick, but I think it's going to be definitely a crucial because, especially at the beginning, people will be running Ying like crazy and, you know, rushing into an objective once I get there. And,. They're going to be a little challenging for everyone to get used to. Alright, now for you know, changing a little bit of subject here, away from Bannon and Jaeger. Um, again, we know that IQ and Thatcher are going to be huge counters against the new operators. I mean, I think IQ will come almost a must, must to have. And, you know, obviously IQ can detect Pulse, Valkyrie Cams, um, both the new operators' abilities. So, she will be a vital role to you know be able to identify those uh, traps that are being set up. So I think you expect to see her I'll, I'll play a lot, lot more in the next coming coming up you know games. One thing I'm excited to see is you know definitely the new lighting changes. You know I do play on console. Um, for people that I've watched and seen, you know, playing on PC, you know the lighting changes are tremendously you know way, way better. You know, it probably when that came out in Operation Health, we didn't get it, but at least we are getting it now. And hopefully, you know, the lighting changes. You know, sometimes people are a little hesitant to look in these, you know, look through these windows or doors because the lighting was just so awful. And you know, somebody had the advantage of the other. So it will be good to see this new lighting change taking effect. So one thing that I am disappointed about with Blood Orchid is that when you now when you jump out, and you see that little like greenish tint, yellowish tint to your screen. They completely removed that. So, you know, obviously you still have two seconds to jump out, but you're going to have clear sight. And, you know, having that green or yellow tint sometimes prevented people from, you know, jumping out there. So I now think that's going to be a less of a deterrent. They're going to hop right out there and just, you know, shoot at you and have clear as, clear as day. So it'll definitely be interesting to see, you know, these new updates and how it's going to change the meta. Adding I, you know, IQ is a crucial part of the new operators. What you're going to see more of, you know, and, and how we're going to counter them. 
Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. I mean, I didn't have much to say. I just want to know that it's going to, you know, again, it's going to change the way we kind of play Jaeger and Bandit. You know, this is the last time we're going to see having their ACOG. Um, you know, and, and go ahead and comment and down below. What do you think about, you know, removing Bandit and Jaeger's ACOG and how it's going to change the game? And also, what do you think about using IQ more often? How the new operator is going to change the meta of the game? Just, you know, give me your thoughts at the bottom. We can discuss it and we can go from there. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, I'm going to let this gameplay just play out. Hope you guys enjoyed. You two, I'm out. Stop the hostiles from securing the biohazard container. Protect the biohazard container. You have entered an enemy controlled area. Leave now. You have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. Op 4 is securing the biohazard container. Biohazard container securing paused. Take out the hostiles. Reloading back! Reloading! Seconds left. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Biohazard container. Intervene immediately. Friendly victorious. Hostiles eliminated.